everybody, I am Molly Wars, and this is Eternal Edge once again. Like I said off camera, I went and got more Healy Potions and a new shield that will last three hits rather than two. I got 92 potions. I don't need to worry about running out anymore. Though I might need to frequently repair this shield too. It was the best one I could get a hold of. Okay, guess I'm following this thing then. Rather than just taking the straight shot to them stairs, I'm guessing something bad would happen. And this is what I was doing right here, just dashing forward. Pew, pew, pew. You would not believe how many times I've heard this sound right here. That sound is going to get annoying. Believe you me, I was doing this to cut down on the travel time because the, the closest teleporting well was all the way back at the entrance of the Forsaken Strand. What's this here? That looks like one of the bosses I already fought. Hello, Light Ball. Do I have to fight him again? Come on, tell me that's what's going on here. Ball of light goes in the thing. Uh, well, statue's gone now. Uh, of course. Re the reanimation of Crow. Of course. Would it be a final dungeon without some sort of boss rush? That's what I've come to expect. There you go. So, where you at, boy? You're just gonna... There he is! There's that reanimation of Crow with his goddamn sides and his smelly nipples. They make a very nasty smell. You really know that smell. Smell it and you're like, yep, that is definitely some nasty nipple smell coming from a, a man named Crow. Now, you and your stanky nipples are gonna have to get the fuck up on out of here. Really wish he would just stop turning invisible. Okay, there goes my shield. It survived more than just two or three hits, though. I will give it that. Shield's back! There we go, Crow's dead, again. Now I'll just take that and be on my way. That is Skeleton Key, of course. A Skeleton Key in a place belonging to the Skeleton King. So, is that the only boss I need to refight here, or is there gonna be more of those balls of glowing light guiding me to another statue? Okay, Bone Wraith from the Beyond. It is level 100. I believe that is what happens when you make a wrong turn. You are forced to fight this thing. I really wish the camera would not get caught on the fucking corners there so that I could actually see what is happening. I really, really need to see. Otherwise, I will have my ass stomped by this big level 100 demon monster from hell. Ow. That is a broken shield. I do not want to take any chances of taking a lethal one-shot hit. And you know what? I'm going to figure out what this gumdrop does. I better switch back to my healing juice just in case. Okay, so the candy slows down time. That's what that does. Now... I can beat this guy, assuming I don't get hit by some stupid-ass bullshit like that. Fortunately, I got that shield. That is the purpose of having a shield. Now, if you would kindly get away from the goddamn walls so that it won't be so fucking cramped in here so I can actually see what you're doing. At least he is dying faster than that 
fucking imitation bro. That is one thing I can say about this guy. So quick to die and yet so slow at the same time. Now please stop breaking my shield. I really need it. I really need to not get hit. I really want the camera to not have a goddamn seizure. I really want the camera to not get caught in a fucking wall. I really, really want you to be the dead. There. I beat him. Now I'll just take that. I am no longer trapped in this little room. And I also don't know which way it is I'm supposed to be going. Good. I was led down this way by that glowing orb. I don't want to have to fight another one of them dudes. Uh, yeah. This is the way I was because that chest is there and it is open. So, which fucking way am I supposed to fucking go? Uh, I'll try heading back this way. The way that I was initially... That I initially came from. And hopefully... There ain't no bullshit that happens. Hopefully. So... Yeah. Now I'm starting to get lost. I'm pretty sure... There, that there should be another ball of light that I need to follow. Or maybe I just go this way and open this door. Maybe. There aren't no more giant level 100 bone wraith from beyond showing up. That much is... Okay, this is the Forsaken Throne. Okay, so I only had to refight Crow. That works out, doesn't it? Because that looks like a particular kingly skeleton that needs an ass whipping. Ain't that right, Bone Man? Well, well, cross the eternal. Come to avenge the people of Beor. Probably. Pathetic. Well, you, you are pathetic. These minions should be enough for you. Oh, we will see about that. And I notice you ain't teleporting. There it is. I've been sitting here telling you to go teleport at him like that, but you just weren't doing it. There we go. And your minions seem to leave a lot to be desired, Mr. Skeleton King. See how weak your minions are. Very good. You fight with vigor. And where is that lovely young lady? She fought with strength. More than yours, you weak, pathetic little piece of garbage. You can't even bench press ten Q-tips. You weak little son of a bitch, you shit-eating mongrel. Where has your strength gone? Well, you're gonna see exactly how much strength I possess. You will see that I have enough strength to whip your ass if you would stamp up and fight for yourself rather than hiding behind your fucking minions. You worthless sack of bones and bullshit. There you go. You gonna get stabbed in the dick, Mr. Skeleton Kang. Just as soon as I've slaughtered all of your minions. Just as soon as they all drop dead. Bonk! So, you ready to fight me yourself? Yes! Yes! Also, no to your question. I just like to see people suffer. Your strength grows. Though, you are not nearly your former self, I can tell. What wondrous strength you Eternals have. I envy it. I envy your gifts. I curse them, too. Gifts no one deemed unfit can receive. 
Didn't we have this exact conversation at the start of the game? Foolish! So was the game just starting where it ended and then it just throws you back to the beginning to show you exactly what happened up to this point? Probably. To deem one unfit. Pathetic! The foo can be truly righteous. It is a fool's errand. One can only give into the truth. One can only find another way to attain greatness. One can only hope to find servants who can actually stand up to this little piece of shit. As I have. Not for the servant thing, I mean the attain the greatness part. And I see I am still unable to teleport at my enemies for some stupid ass reason. That's just great. Now let's wipe out the little skeleton knights, and then we'll focus on the big boy. Does that the sound good to you, biggins? It should, because that's the only choice you got. All right, he's dead. You run out of minions yet? Please tell me you're out of minions. What is it? You wonder why I toy with you? Out of anger. Anger is the reason I toy with you. The reason I waste your time. The same way you wasted mine. How did I ever waste your time? You. The both of you. You and your precious wife. You waste my time. Do you think it is easy to build an empire? To conquer a land, destroy a people, to enslave a few gnomes? Seriously, those gnomes are very wily. They're hard to enslave. You ever try putting an iron collar on one of those little bastards? Do you know how many endless hours I've poured into this kingdom? And your wife? She appears from afar and thinks she can take it all away from me. Perhaps she could have, if you had been with her. But now you are out partying looking for other women, you unfaithful little dog. I know you must regret it every day. Do you know how many times I vanquished her in battle? Countless. We were at war with each other for what felt like an eternity. But for others, it was no more than the blink of an eye. The Eternals make the immortality that I offer to my followers look like child's play. That's because it is. You're just raising the dead, not making them live forever, you asshat. I cannot have that. What, you don't want to be upstaged by people who know how to handle true immortality, you sucking piece of garbage sucking on all your blanket? You don't know what sucking on a blanket has any has to do with any of this, but that's just what I do. That's just how I mess with you, you big lord of all of the bones. Now, I'm just going to kick more of your servants in the ass. And then you will eventually, finally, actually try to fight me. Maybe. Or does this just go on forever and ever? There seems to be more dudes with each passing time. And you know what? Fuck it. I can walk right through your throne. Take that, Bone Man. You and your non-existent throne. Is he just like a fucking illusion or something just sitting there? Now fight me, asshole! Cross, I have something to show you. It is a gift just for you. No matter how many times I defeat you in battle, you will return. So instead, I will imprison you with this. Are you ready? Ready to spend the rest of eternity in my prison? You should. It's really nice. It's got like eight little stabby things that stab you over and over again. Forever! I hope you are. Ah, oh, finally. Now I get to fight you. I am prepared to face you. Let's taste your strength, Cross. Well, 
I believe you've made the biggest and possibly last mistake of your life! Because now you made the mistake of letting me actually hit ya. The Skeleton King just sliding all over the place. Now, alright. And you don't seem to be very durable. You are losing so much health with every hit that I land on you. You seem to be doing a comparable amount of damage to me. And I'm not sure what's going on here with this floating ball and my, him not being it, but he takes damage when I hit it, but he's not there. I, I do not understand what is happening with that. All that I do understand is he's getting his ass whipped. So, yeah, this... This is probably one of the many, many flaws of the game I have mentioned already. And he's down! You leave me no choice. Fight me in the place I draw my power from. I will show you how Evelyn lost to me. So where's the place you draw your power from, Bone Boy? Hurry up! Here in this place, this realm, a greater darkness awaits. Can you feel it? The moment you stepped into my citadel, you entered Forsaken Land. A place between the living and dead. Here, many things are possible. We can be anywhere we want to be, or nowhere. Look, your wife. She struggles. Didn't she have hair last time I saw her and now she's bald? I don't understand how that works. She didn't have time to shave her head while she was asleep for all those years. She keeps the gate back to the world of life open for you, hoping for your return. She will not see it. Go to her. Console her. So... You fucking with me now. I kinda got sucked out into the wall there with that cutscene. I get the feeling that that might be an illusion over there. Also, I think I'm stuck inside the wall. Because I don't think I'm supposed to be running around in this area. I think the game went and glitched on me, but I, uh, help, help, I have in nothing, I can't get in back in there. Beat the Skeleton King again off camera and maybe it didn't glitch on me this time, I hope. He's gonna show me how Evelyn lost to her, how she lost to him, and here it plays darkness, blah, 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 we've been through this in the last episode, look at your wife, go, blah, get her to you, go to her, console her, there we go, now it ain't glitching on me this time, and I get the feeling that that is a trick that he's trying to pull on me. Most likely. Hello, wife. You open door. Cross. Yes, I can see you. I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? Sorry that I failed back when I had the chance to defeat him. I mean, he was too strong and I was busy looking around at pottery on the walls. He used to have really nice pottery and I was distracted and then he knocked me out and then I was asleep for years. But that's what happened. Do you, do you remember back then when we first met? You were the light of my life, Cross. I knew I'd give anything and everything for you, just to keep you safe. And I knew that you would protect me no matter what. 
I'm sorry. You didn't fail me across. We all make mistakes, my love. We all face times that break us. It's what we do afterwards, what we do to earn redemption. The people we save, the hearts we mend. I will always be here with you, Cross. Always remember it, even no matter what. You ready to face him? Yeah, I'm ready. I know you are. He's gonna try to stop us, which means he's gonna try to close his gate. Can't let him do that. Gotta keep the gate open. It's up to you to keep me safe and fight him at the same time. Great. Now the real final battle. How merciful am I that I give you a moment to spend with your lost love? Come face me! You will not be making it out of here, Cross. We will see about that, Skeleton Tang. I seem to be stunned. Perfect! Now then, I just have to whip your ass and the asses of your minions at the same time. Level 94 they might be, but that shall not stop me from beating all of their asses. And yours too, because you're only level 80, and your minions are a higher level than you are. How pathetic it- who's the pathetic one now? To be weaker than your own minions. Now then. Then bonk. There you go. Now stop swinging that big stupid sword around. I need to fix my shield because I don't want any mishaps that make me have to redo all this bullshit. And just so you know, to get out of the that glitched state that I was in, I exited the game back to the title screen and then went back through the goddamn Citadel. Fortunately, I didn't have to fight that clone of Crow again. Fortunately, I already had that key that I needed, so are you gonna come over here and get your ass away from the goddamn wall? Come on, dick nugget. You don't need to be up against the goddamn wall like that. I don't want there to be a third phase that I gotta fight you all over again just to get to because of some bullshit glitch mode. So come and get some. And yay, I'm stunned again. Now then, if you just fucking die and maybe not stand up against the wall. Uh, ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, Mr. King is the name of that achievement. Yeah, I'm getting him. Well, he just stands there. He's done! Also, if you're wondering why I move my head like this to see the achievement, it's because my microphone's in the way. This game doesn't have an option to resize the game window for recording that I play it in windowed mode. Cross, my love, you've done so beautifully. I can't hold him much longer, Skeleton King. His defeat has made it unstable. So I need to hurry the fuck up and get out of here. Reach for me, please, Cross, just reach out. Okay. Yes, that's it. And I believe this might not be what I think it is. Possibility of illusion. Or not. Skeleton King's actually dead. Developed and created by Sean Garland and Morgan Lee. They did a decent job of making the game. It has great potential. It could be a damn good Zelda clone. If you just polish it up, remove some of the bugs, fix the little broken bits, and maybe make some of the battles a little more interesting. There's plenty more you could have done with the enemies to make them a bigger threat than they really are. Finn! And that was not a lot of credits. Still, they could do better. I understand them having such a small team to work on it, if that, with all the bugs and shit, and it still being early access, of course. But it was fun. I 
we'll give it that. And with that, that would be the end of this series. And this episode was not all that long, so I might just have to tack it on to the end of the episode before this one. How long was that, actually? Yep, this is going to be tacked on to the end of the other one. So, there you have it. That was Eternal Edge. And it just throws me back to the title screen. Fantastic. So, that does it for this series. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you again in the next series.